Out of all the Halo games, Halo 3 ODST is by far my favourite. I know it's a very contested subject, and definitely every Halo game has its pros and cons, but ODST for me, just a brand new campaign, like a really down-to-earth experience, it stood out to me as my favourite at the time, and I've got my boys here today to bring in a new member of our collection. We have got a Chinese copy of Halo 3 ODST. If you guys watched my last video, Travel Blocks, I went into a Chinese arcade, like a Chinese tech market, and I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this guy just sat on the shelf. This was 80 Hong Kong dollars, which is about eight pounds or maybe 10 US dollars, and that's just a steal in my book. I'm gonna run down the exact differences between this and an American or European copy, and then some extra fun bits to do with the Chinese translations of these games, and then hopefully we're gonna try and play it on my Xbox. I think that Xbox One more or less moved away from like backwards like region locks and things like that. I think we might be able to play this on an Xbox One. Only time will tell, but first let's have a look at this little gem. There's only a tiny bit of damage on it, but nothing really. And the first thing that's interesting about this is this little icon in the corner. This says NTSCJ. Now NTSC, I did some research, is the National Television System Committee, and they brought in sort of like analog television color systems, and it was based in North America. The J stands for Japan, which was like their name for the regions of Southeast Asia that they produced stuff for including Taiwan, Hong Kong, Philippines, South Korea, and it was actually disbanded in 2011, and then pretty much the whole system was when we went digital. But this is like a little icon of, you know, times past, and interesting that Hong Kong is separate from China in history, especially when it comes to like region locks and restrictions, because China has the Great Firewall, Hong Kong currently does not, and China has pretty much had video games completely illegal for all of its history. Only very recently they've started to open it up, but they still censor most games. So it's interesting to see this which was made in 2011, which definitely wasn't produced in China, and this one was actually produced in Singapore. I know that they're produced in a lot of different places. I saw in my research that some American copies were made in Mexico, but I guess maybe the Asian distributor was in Singapore, and everything is more or less the same, except there's Chinese translations next to pretty much everything. Even at the top here, saying only on Xbox Live, then this is pretty much the same, but all of this text is accompanied with its Chinese counterpart, which I think is really cool. I spent two and a half years living in China, I now live in Hong Kong, and this is really nice to see. I can read a little bit of this. I think this is the funniest because they put three twice, like three wasn't worth translating, like three was a separate thing. You'll see many times with Chinese to English translations, they keep words that they couldn't really, like they couldn't be bothered translating or they didn't have a specific word for it. The example is the year dates for 2552 here and the title ODST. They didn't really have anything for uh, ODSTs. Maybe they could have made a Chinese translation. Even the word firefight there is untranslated. We'll have another look at the front. We've got this sticker for the original multiplayer beta. I really do wonder if the Halo Reach beta was available in Asia. I assume that most betas are kind of closed off and they'd only be for like America and Europe, but I guess they had it. They had it enough to make a translation of it. And oh, the time, the time to be alive. I mean, when Halo 3 ODST came out, I remember the day I ran to the supermarket, we bought a copy, we fired it up and it even came with the Reach beta. I can honestly remember that day very well. Uh, my beautiful rookie on the front. It's in pretty great condition other than this little chip thing. I guess this is where the, the plastic meets. Uh, it's, a, it's a funny one. I can feel some kind of plastic underneath it. And then on the back, we've got all the exact same pictures. Everything is the same, again, except translations. They've moved a lot of the text around a lot, especially this complete Halo 3 multiplayer experience that used to be in the corner. And they have added a couple of these boxes, including bilingual manual and language Chinese or English. I'd also be very excited to see if this is in Chinese, but I really doubt it. And then more or less, it's the same except made in Singapore. I would love to hear a Chinese translator actually say some of these iconic Halo lines. Okay, we've got the campaign and the multiplayer discs. And then this, I guess, is a receipt for the original copy. I bought this for $80, but I guess originally it was sold for $285, listed as 160 times, which I guess is... Uh, I don't even know, maybe the code for the game? From Fu Wang Game Shop. I did not buy this from Fu Wang Game Shop. This was in the Sino Center, which is actually a, another huge gaming arcade in, uh, in Hong Kong. 
and then we've got probably the standard instruction manuals that come with the game originally. Again, it's all translated into Chinese, which I think uh, from a collector's standpoint, that's still a really cool thing to have. Pure Chinese all the way through. It's fun to see like classic, iconic, like the menu screen just in full Chinese and also a catch of the flag game lobby. I guess highlighting Xbox Live theater mode. That looks familiar. Where, where have I seen that before? One of my favorite maps there. Although it's a little bit of a repetitive map because remember this came with the Halo 3 multiplayer as well. So that's definitely showing you, oh, the heads up display for Halo 3, talking you through exactly what you can do with each button. Ah, there we go, yeah. I would love to actually have this on a poster if I could get like a copy that's not creased in the middle. The M 7S submachine gun and the M6S Magnum. Captain Dare, right? Captain Dare, what you, what you got to tell us today, Veronica? If you guys enjoy this kind of video, I know that this store sells more of these Halo games, so I would love to get more show you guys. I don't know, maybe Halo Legends did really well in Asia because it is Japanese anime. And ah, uh, yes, from the beginning you know the end. Halo Reach. And other than that, I guess the only thing left to do is try and fire these games up, guys. I don't know if they'll run. They look like they're in pretty good condition. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Let's fire them up, boys. Let's see if they run. Here we've got my Xbox. Beautiful view outside. Let's see if she works. Update? Okay, that's promising. Here we go, boys. Halo 3 ODST Campaign Edition. She's installing. Up to my notifications, there we go. It says it's ready to start. I wonder if it's, I mean, I think they got rid of all these kind of region locks. I think it's just like a digital download more or less. So I think they just recognize the game. Ah, oh! there we go. All right, old school. Add me on Xbox Live, everybody. That's it. All right, guys. Nothing more to do except I'm gonna lie down and play some Xbox. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Let me know if you want me to get hold of more of these Chinese copies in the future. Halo 3 ODST is signing off.